echoes of God's curses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. I'm Reverend Father Zechariah Fufui. You are welcome once more to our 40 days Lenten retreat and reflections. Today is the 10th day. The theme of our reflection today is on repentance. We have sinned in one way or the other, and that is why the voice that is echoing throughout this season of Lent is repent and come back to God. We should not be afraid to repent. Neither should we be afraid to rise again when we fall into any type of sin. Sin gradually drags us to death. Repentance brings life. What is that particular sin you are struggling with? Tertullian says something so beautifully. I want to bring it to you today. He says, Repeated sickness must have repeated medicine. In other words, whatever sin we are tied down with is a sickness and it brings injury to the soul. And if it's a sickness that we need, repeated medicine. And that medicine you need to take repeatedly in your life to battle that sickness, that sin in your life is making effort. To repent. Don't give up. If you fall today, tomorrow is another day. If you have lost a battle today, falling into sin, tomorrow there is another battle. You have not lost the war. Get up! Get up! Make that act of contrition. Confess that sin. Get up and continue again. Take that medicine of repentance. Take that medicine of going to confession. Take that medication you need to overcome that sin the next day. I know there are some situations we have been tied down to because of life challenges, because of whatever we are passing through. There are particular sins we have committed that have become ways of life. And it seems as if when we leave them, we are going to like be drawn back or we will no longer survive or life will no longer be beautiful or life will no longer be enjoyed. It is a lie that the devil presents us. The solution to that situation you are passing through is to trust in God. Remember, he provided water for his own children. The Israelites are the desert, a place that they can never get water. If God can provide water for them in the desert, is it you that they cannot provide for? If God provided food for them in the desert, is it you he cannot provide for? It's just about trusting in God enough. Don't trust any longer. On that particular sin you are committing to survive, come out of it and trust in God. Don't walk out of God because you are falling into a particular sin again and again. You have been struggling, you have prayed, you have tried your best and you are still falling in it. Don't walk out of God. Don't make it a permanent practice in your life. Come to God and say, Lord, this is the particular sin I'm committing. I find it very difficult to live this life Help me. I don't have anyone to go to. You are the one that can help me. Come to God rather than walk out of God. You will come to understand that that particular sin actually was stealing and taking far more from your life than the little you are just getting. I pray for you in this sense of life that whatever situation you are passing through, God will give you a heart of repentance and may He grant you your heart desires, and may your Lenten observances be fruitful to Christ our Lord. Amen.